<laughs> did you say Cobra Kai the network? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I am a good five foot seven. Screw you. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to Cobra Kai Karate. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're here with episode 22 of Cobra Kai Network, and we are will be celebrating the Cobra Kai 4 year anniversary. We're also with Cobra Kai Talk. How you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me on. Yes, thank you for coming on. Me and Cobra Kai Talk, we've done a, we've done like a lot of videos together. So yeah, um, it's always fun talking to Kuya. Make sure you check out his channel in the link in the description. And um, yeah, so we'll just be talking about for the four year anniversary because um, 2018, May 2nd, um, Cobra Kai Season 1 was on YouTube Red. And now four years later, it's still popular. It's still an amazing show. And yeah, so... For anniversary, we're gonna be talking about what we're grateful for Cobra Kai. I love the whole show. I'm grateful for a lot of stuff, and we're gonna talk about that. So, um, yeah. Um, all right, right before we start, we want to address that. Also, in three days, we'll begin our first look of Cobra Kai. That's the most yes. exciting news. Um, make sure to subscribe both of our channels because we will be covering that whole stuff. So, if you are excited to see that, make sure to subscribe to both of us because we'll have a lot of videos. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So yeah, um, so we'll just start. Um, doesn't need to be in order. Like I like this more. Just, just, just put out some things what you like about it most. And yeah, we'll go for about twenty minutes. I know we say we go twenty minutes, we go for like an hour, but we're gonna try to do it this time. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll start with me. For the first time, grateful Cobra Kai is how um, it just continues going. So. Yeah, it's four years, and they're still doing it, and they give it to us fast. Like we got two seasons in 2021, like one of the beginning, one at the end, and that's just amazing. And it keeps the fans excited, like, all the time. So, yeah, um, that's one thing I, I'm grateful about. It's just it keeps going, and I believe it's going to keep going for a long time. So, yeah, that's that's the first thing for me. But you want to say your your first thing? Uh, Yeah, sure. Um. So it's it's kind of like it's similar to what you said, but just how like consistent it is. Like a lot of shows now. I mean, Stranger Things. Like we have to three years for one season, but for like you said, Cobra Kai, we get a season every year or the same mm -hmm. year. So that's like one of the things that like they don't keep us waiting for like too long of a time. Right. Yeah. Uh, nice thing for me, I would say. Um... Um, the show's great. I mean, it's literally just an amazing show. Well, I think we made a whole video about explaining why Cobra Kai is the best TV show. And yeah, yeah. we really just, it's just amazing stuff. There's acting, the music, there's everything about the show is amazing. Um, and yeah, it's going to, I believe, I no, I'm saying this, I know it's going to keep, keep um, going um, amazing. I don't think there's ever going to be a season where it's like bad, Cobra Kai falls off, it's like turns into a bad show. I think it's going to keep being am amazing. So yeah, the show's awesome. It's just a good show, like the best show in my opinion. So yeah, um, so yeah, let's hear your next thing. All right, so my next thing is just like the relatability of all of the characters. Like you can find, like you, you relate with you relate with every character in some in some way. Like yeah. especially like Miguel in season one, he's relatable to a lot of people. But just like that relatability is just awesome. But yeah, that's my that's like my top thing is just like the relatability of all the characters. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, Cobra Kai w wouldn't even be really Cobra Kai if it wasn't for all the characters and how much they mean to everybody. The characters are something in it, there's something for a character for everybody. Even if like you can relate to somebody more, or even if you don't relate to them, you can still enjoy the character. And I do think there's something you can relate with every, almost every character. I mean, every character is amazing. The acting's great. The story's awesome. So yeah, I I, I really do agree with that. But the next thing for me is just going to be the community of the Cobra yes. Kai, the fans. You can see in a lot of different um, film franchises. I won't name any off, but Star a Wars. lot of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, Star Wars. The, the, it's the worst. The worst community oh. out there. Yeah. Even okay. Though, like, I love Star Wars, but it's terrible. Oh yeah, Star Wars days like in two days too. So yeah, but yeah, um, 
yeah, the community in this, everybody in the show, there's a couple bad stuff I don't like about it. I mean, about, yeah. there's some, they're like, of course, people, how they hate Sam character a lot. That thing's a little bad, but I think the good outweighs the bad a lot more. The community's awesome. A lot of people agree with each other. People are nice to each other. They respect opinions. And, of course, you have all the YouTube channels like us, you know, Cobra Kai Kid, Cobra Nation, all these, this whole community. They all come together. They all enjoy the show. And, yeah, the whole community is just awesome. And um, it's one of the best things that like with the show, just the fans. So, yeah, that's the next thing I would say. Yeah, so my next thing is just how much, like, the creators and the crew, like, care, like, like the cast members like care about the show mm-hmm. like they like in a lot of shows like a lot of like times like a lot of people like the creators after a while they're just like make make it just to make it but mm-hmm. like John Josh and Hayden they like they love the show and they they spend so much time on it and like the crew they all love the show so i think that's like a big part of it cuz if like they didn't like it i feel like it wouldn't have as much like it just wouldn't feel like the same watching it. True. That's so, right. That's like one another thing that's like my top things. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, and even the creators and the actors really care for their fans as well. They care mm-hmm. for everyone. They're just the nicest people. I mean, I never met them, but I've seen them and they're just yeah, they also the nicest. Really like amazing. Yeah, and every person and every person that's involved with Cobra Kai, if it's a small part, even if they're just like holding the, the the camera or something, I love you guys all because you guys really have created this magic show, and I just love it. Um, the next thing for me, I'm gonna say how they bring back original characters from the Karate Kid. Mm-hmm. It would be very difficult to go from a film trilogy from like um, 30 years ago and make a whole new modern show out of it and make it still good, but still for the newer audience and even still for the older audience who really loved those movies back then. And yeah. So um, like how they brought back Terry Silver. Um, I, I don't, it would be very challenging to write that character realistically in the show, because you can see in the guy film, he was over the top and how they brought yeah. back that character. is just amazing. How they brought back all these characters from the original show and how they, bring, how they brought new characters in. They balance it so perfectly. And yeah, they just bring back the stuff and they, they love the Karate Kid fans, they're the fans themselves. So yeah, it's just um just how they brought back the original stuff, I would say. Yeah, especially with like Terry Silver, like Ralph Macho before like Cobra Kai, he said that he hated like Terry Silver and all that stuff. Yeah. Like he didn't like the movie, but now he he actually like like enjoys the character. So that's yeah. like great how they brought it back in a way that every everybody loves it. Yeah. Oh, um, do, you, do you have other thing? I'm trying to think. I I just don't know how to like. Oh, I forgot it. Um. um all right, I, I can go again if you want. All right. Yeah. I I I just completely forgot it. That's okay. Um. So yeah, one thing I'm gonna say is just um, how they still. This is still with the Karate Kid. Like how much they love the original stuff. Like how they bring like the music. How they do mm-hmm. references and everything. I mean, I look at Cobra Kai and Karate Kid as the same thing, and how they did it was amazing. I mean, of course, they're different and they have their own kind of thing, but I still see them as the same thing. And another thing I want to say is just how much they, um, um, how much they show Mr. Miyagi in this because, I, like I said, Mr. Miyagi is one of my favorite characters, and we all know how Pat Miyota, the actor of Mr. Miyagi, has passed away, mm-hmm. and how they still carry on the Mr. Miyagi character in the show is just beautiful. Every scene where they dress him, all those scenes with that, it's amazing how Especially they don't just season three. Yeah, especially in season three, episode four, um, the right path where they're reading the letters. It's amazing. So, oh, that scene was like that. That was a great yeah. like. Yeah. Wow. It. I. I. Yeah. That's one of my favorite episodes of all time. But um, yeah. So they don't just forget this character because he's not around anymore. They really care for this character a lot, and they. I love how they do that because he's one of my favorite characters. So yeah, that's that's what I'd say. But um, do you do you remember it? Or... Yeah. Yeah. I I remember. So it's like how they like stick to the like original movies but also make it so different like 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 when you're watching season one it's like miguel is like daniel in the karate kid but it's it but it's completely different but it also feels the same which i think is just like i think it's great because like even like like the fans who are older can like enjoy and like like point it out like if you if you watch karate kid like before it you could be like you can remember him like Daniel and everything. 
right. And yeah, that's I, I I don't really know how to word it. I, I was trying to figure out a way to like like word that yeah. word that, but that's yeah, like I, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I agree with that, of course. But um yeah, so the next thing I, I'm gonna say is um I'm gonna say like the humor of it. Um it has really funny humor, which if it could fit and this is kind of like everything, it kind of feels like a comedy show. And yeah. it also could be a serious show. And if if I don't know how to say this, um, it just has a lot of different tones on the on the show, and but it balances it perfectly to make it just you know, so it's not too much comedy or not too much serious serious scenes. It's just amazing um, how they pace the, the how they pace the whole show, and it just keeps you entertained throughout every episode. I don't think there's any weak episode. Some episodes I think are better than the other. You know, but I still think every episode has a meaning to it. Every episode's awesome to watch. It's entertaining. And, yeah, so the way they do that is just awesome. So, yeah, that would be my next thing. And we'll say, like, two more things. Then we'll yeah, just yeah. talk about – because, you know, we, we love this show, but, like it, – it, It'll get talk, a little old. Like, yeah. going back and forth. Just, but, yeah. all right, so one of the last things I want is just the music. Like, there's this saying, like, music oh, yeah. is, like, a main character. And this show, like – it definitely like relates to that because the music in this show, the show wouldn't be the same without its music. The music is awesome. Right. Like every theme or every every song in it is just none of this is bad. You're right. Like I sure. can listen, I can listen to all of it and yeah. like never get tired of it. Yeah, I mean, I've downloaded the whole Cobra Kai soundtrack, all the songs, even and for like a little bit. Love every song of it. They just know how to pick the right music out, and they know how to make the right music too. So yeah, it's just that I yeah the music's awesome man. So yeah, the next thing for me, I'm gonna be my last one. I'm gonna say it's so epic. It's just epic. I mean, the way the fights we can say that the fights with the music, the characters, how all the fights, how they do it with the one shot and everything in season three and four, I mean it's season two and three. It's just epic. I mean, it's just awesome. That whole I I just that's been my last statement. It's just epic. I love it. But yeah, you got another one. Uh, yeah. So, so my last one uh is is just like how they brought back Daniel and Johnny because yeah, like it felt just like like if I like now that I like after you watch like all the Karate Kids, like you kind of like it's what you expect, but it's also not what you expect at the same time because yeah. like you don't expect Johnny to be like like broke and just like a drunk, but. I just think they brought him back in such like, it was just brilliant how they brought him back. So yeah. that's gonna like my last thing is how like they brought them back and just made them awesome. Yeah, of even course. more I, awesome than they already yeah. were. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, the way they brought brought Johnny back and brought everyone back, it was just incredible. And who knows? Um, maybe we'll see more characters return, like Mike Barnes in season five, which I think is most ninety nine percent true. Yeah, I knows? mean, it, ha- it has to be at this point. Like, even yes. like Sean Kanan just stopped denying it, and he's just like, uh, I can't give a, I can't give an answer to a yes or no answer to that. So yeah, yeah, I, I, he's returning. I'm gonna say it. But, yeah, um, it, it definitely, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah point. Um, and yeah, one other thing I want to say, of course, I don't know where I'd be about Cobra Kai. It motivates people. It helps people. And then just for my channel, the channel's changed me as a person a lot. So yeah, the definitely. whole channel. And especially if all the people like you, Corporate Kai Talk, Corporate Kai Zone, everyone, all these people in the community that I make videos with, I talk to, it's truly amazing. It wouldn't exist without the show. So thank you guys. You're changing millions of people's lives. So yeah, keep making the show and we'll always keep watching. But so we're going to talk about a couple other stuff about Corporate Kai and then we'll kind of end it up. So um, yeah. um, So yeah, season five trailer coming very, very soon. Well, uh, first, well uh, look, first look. First look. I, yes, we don't know if it's, I, I, yeah, I don't think it's going to be the trailer. Yeah, it's, well, not, it's definitely not the trailer. If it's anything, it'll be a tease. But yeah, um, so yeah, we we talked about this a lot, and um, well, actually, we we didn't we you didn't release that. We had the oh yeah okay. I'll say it right yeah, now. So... We we have to redo that. Okay, so we had a Cobra Kai talk episode, so we're gonna have this huge last episode, right? We we have it. a lot of people on. It's gonna be a cinematic episode, all right? <laughs> we come on total disaster it was ter- I mean, it was terrible it was so bad people were doing some weird things in that everybody was laughing it was no everyone people were, people were leaving in the middle of the of the, of the call 
Oh my god, two are leaving, coming on, then people are getting kicked out. Some people are saying some stuff that I can't say. I oh, mean, yeah. it was just oh, yeah. people it was farting, just, like yes, that did happen. I'm not gonna give any names, but it did happen. Yeah, it was bizarre. Too we many to times, the, too many we times. Had, we had to delete the whole project. We're gonna refilm it, all right? But it, it was yeah, it was bad. But don't worry, that, that was terrible. Go, go guy talk episode 10 will be coming better than the last one. And you guys are grateful I did not post this one. Trust me, it was terrible. So, but so, anyway, so we're, we're, we're also grateful that none of us saw that disaster. Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely, yeah, okay, it, it was terrible. But, um, yeah, so a lot of people are making four year anniversary videos. I'm, I'm loving how people, I love how all the creators are coming out doing the four year anniversary thing. Um, what the heck was that? All right, sorry, uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah something's just was on, something's on my window. What, wait, give me one second, I'll be right back. I want, I need to see what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. I have a theory. Terry Silver is breaking into his house right now. Or the Cobra Kai's are breaking into his house because they have a whole season pre finale fight in the middle of Cobra Kai Network. It's happening. Should wait till he comes on. Yeah. Sorry, dead. my, my oh. neighbor's like like working on his boat or something. Oh. Okay. Like right outside my window. Oh, it's okay. But um, yeah, I was just saying I, I'm loving all these videos people are making about the three anniversary. I just want to say that real quick. And especially um, Cobra Kai Zone, he had a video. Oh, I need to check for- it out. Oh, he did, he did. He did very good on it. Um, yeah, I just I just love that video of his. So I just want to say that real quick. Maybe you should check out all these other creators' four year anniversary videos because they're amazing. Your sister um, made a, a four year anniversary video. Yeah, she she sounds exactly like you, but in a like in as a girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. So my sister just made her first her, her YouTube channel. So my sister made a YouTube channel, a Cobra Kai YouTube channel, because we watched the Karate Kid films together for the first time. Me and her watched. Cobra Kai. When I watched Cobra Kai the first time, she did. Me, she's just as much as a fan as I am. Um, even in my trailers, she watched my trailer reactions for season four. She's you can hear her screaming in the background. I mean, she's <laughs> a fan as well. So um, she wanted to make her own YouTube channel because she she's been loving all the stuff I've been doing off here. So I helped her. Sure, her name either name is Dr. Cobra Kai. I'll put in the link in the description right next to Cobra, Cobra Kai Talks. Dr. Cobra Kai, she has her first video out. I helped her a lot on it, and I'm trying to teach her a lot of stuff how to make the videos. The video was good. Uh, I watched it. it. It was it was good. Yeah, and um, she 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 wrote down her. It was top of favorite characters to Cobra Kai. She made her own list. She she did her own thing, but um, I just kind of helped edit it together, made the thumbnail and everything. But um, yeah. you know, I'm teaching her, so she's gonna have more videos to come. So make sure to subscribe to that channel. So yeah, um, but yeah, um. Yeah, so we're probably going to wrap this video right now. We want to say thank you for the show. If anyone who is involved in the show that's watching this video, thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. You, yeah, you're just the best around. So. You're making uh, one of the greatest shows of all time. So Yeah, um, th- this show will never be forgotten as long as this world exists. I mean, uh, it's just that good. It's just amazing. And it's going to just get keep getting bigger and bigger. So, yeah, um, that's wrap the video, guys. Um, a little short of video. I do still have a couple stuff tonight, but I just want to say thank you for the show. Thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me on my channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are just the best. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. And until then, extreme situations require extreme measures. All right, peace. <laughs>